I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I want you to think in the back of your mind if any of these resonate with you. Are you feeling busy and longing for a break? Are you feeling disconnected and desiring to be present in the moment that you are in? Are you feeling anxious and wishing for some peace? Are you feeling unsatisfied and longing to feel fully satisfied? If any of these questions resonate with you, I have some good news for you. The good news is that rest in Jesus satisfies. Rest in Jesus is curative to all of these struggles. Let's take a look at Matthew 11, 28 through 30. It reads, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Did you catch that first line? It says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Who are those who labor and are heavy laden? Well, that's us. That's us who feel busy. That's us who feel tired, disconnected, anxious, unsatisfied. Jesus says, come. He's providing an open invitation for you, for me, for all of us to come to him. Jesus says, come to me and I will give you rest. Jesus is inviting us. There's no hoops to jump through to experience this rest that Jesus is offering. There's no hoops to jump through to feel fully at rest and fully satisfied. This rest in Jesus it satisfies. Have you ever thought about what it might take for you to feel as though you've crossed the finish line in life? What it might take for you to feel completely satisfied and completely at rest? If you're anything like me, and a million things probably come to your mind of what you'd like to accomplish in life, let alone this week, whatever it may be for you that you feel you need to cross this finish line whatever it is for you to feel fully satisfied and completely at rest, know that this rest in Jesus satisfies. It's the only thing that will ever satisfy us. In today's world, we are taught that busyness equates to success. The truth is, busyness is not a sign of success. In fact, in most cases, it's the opposite. Busyness is a sign of restlessness, of dissatisfaction, of disconnection. A busy schedule tends to show a lack of presence in what you're doing, a scattered mind that's not satisfied with its current state. I don't know about you, but personally, I don't want to live a life where I feel disconnected, I feel unsatisfied, and that nothing I do is never enough. John Mark Comer said, human desire is infinite because we are made to live with God forever in his world, and nothing less will ever satisfy us. If our desires as humans are infinite, we need a source of infinite satisfaction. What's the source of infinite satisfaction, you may ask? It's Jesus, plain and simple. Rest in Jesus satisfies. It satisfies everything our souls could ever thirst for. Rest in Jesus satisfies. Let's dive a little deeper into why this rest Jesus is inviting us into is so special and so curative. Let's look at verses 29 and 30. It says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What's this yoke thing Jesus is talking about? This yoke is a big wooden bar that joins two oxen together so that they can carry a heavy load. Ox are animals that are well suited for labor. They're well suited to carry heavy loads. They can pull up to 15,000 pounds when you have two together. When Jesus is referring to his yoke, he's saying to take something light onto your back, not to let all of these heavy things weigh on your shoulders. Jesus is inviting you to come co-labor with him, to walk alongside him and take on his yoke instead of your heavy yoke. Jesus is inviting us to come and rest in him because he's gentle and he's lowly in heart. He has a light burden. I want you to think of the last time you had a really good hug. You can close your eyes for a second if you want to. Now in this hug, you feel warm, you feel fuzzy, you feel all of the anxieties melting off of you. Good feeling, right? Now I want you to imagine instead of this as a person, this person giving you a hug is Jesus. 
This person isn't making all of your anxieties melt away. That's what Jesus is doing when he's inviting us into this rest. He's coming in with open arms and taking us into his embrace and letting all of our burdens fall off. When Jesus invites us into rest, it's that simple. We say yes, we run into his embrace because this rest in Jesus satisfies.